What's up, people? Welcome back to the second part of the tutorial. Basically, we've done most, almost everything. Here, I'm just checking to see if the eyes line up, and as you can see, they do. So, what you want to do next is take the line tool and start drawing out uh, the nose. I did look at pictures online, and I couldn't find any that match. I mean, the cartoon nose, so. Yeah, I just start drawing my own. Once you're finished with the nose, what you want to do is you want to untick all the other layers. What you want to do is just leave the outline of the nose. And then what you want to do is make another layer and merge all the visible. This way you can rotate and move at the nose layer freely. Okay, so take everything back and then take anything you don't need. Which one of these move the nose into a place, into the right place, whatever. So next I'm going to insert my mouth. I've got an image from the internet. As you can see, there's loads of different ones. And I just ch I'm going to choose the right one and move it into place so right now you just want to get rid of all the rest ones that you don't need so after you deleted most of this everything which one of these resize the mouth if you have to in this case I do so yeah I'm just going to click on the right layer and then you just select to whatever select what and then click Control T to transform. So here you can rotate and resize the shape, put it in place. And then just click select and approve, apply. I mean, so now that I've got most of the parts in place, what I'm going to do is just keep moving around each layer till I think till I find the right combination to do this you might want to zoom in see better there's a shortcut for zooming in you can click alt and then use the uh, mouse wheel to zoom in So after you've done everything, what you want to do is just color it in basically. Because it's a time because of the time I'm not really gonna be able to show how to color in fully. But I have other previous tutorials I've done which you can see how to do it or how to color in uh, cartoon images. But yeah. I'm just merging layers so basically cleaning everything up you can change the color of the eyes if you got if you like got the image from the internet by selecting it and clicking control U and then you can just drag stuff to, to see the color change It seems like everything's done, all you need is color now. So here I'm gonna merge the head and the thing, the body, and then merge my layer, nose and mouth and everything else together as well. Here done a mistake, merge, merge the body with the thing. So anyway. When that's done, as you can see, I got 
I've got some white pots, so I'm going to delete those white areas so they don't interfere when I color in the image. don't really need that uh, the background image anymore I mean the image picture of the soldier boy but I keep it to refer I like to use it as color samples I'm gonna sample the colors from that picture so yeah if you don't want if, you, if it sort of like disturbs you can just take it off it's best to have color on one layer and outlines on the other so if you keep the outlines on top that way you can just color in and go over the lines so yeah basically what you do is just color in I'm gonna skip this because it takes a long time you can do you can use whatever you want to color it in but basically, I just use a brush and select tool, wonder tool, yeah, wonder tool. So here, as you can see, I already finished color it in and mark out a tune. All it needs is a background. So yeah, you can get rid of the white background and put in an image or whatever you got. So you click on the new layer okay. and then pick the color you like for your background use the a paint bucket to color it in paint bucket tool to color in or brush tool and then what you can do to make it look better is drop a shadow on your color This is gonna look. This is gonna make the cartoon stand out. The distance and the spread is all up to you. Distance is how far away do you want the shadow to be. Add some text to finish everything off. Make it look nice and crop the image to the right size. And that's it. The image is finished. So the reason why I made this tutorial is because the other cartoon video I made is sort of more realistic and this is more cartoonish. Almost like yeah, like a real cartoon. It's really simple to make. So if you like the video, please do subscribe. Hope you enjoy it. There's also one up if you don't like I mean if you don't like spending so much time making these cartoons there's this app for I think iPhone and iPods it's called Toon Paint so yeah do you have a look at it it's a really good app and it's easy to use to make good looking cartoons what's up if you like this video please do subscribe and thank you for watching